Acrolein is the simplest unsaturated aldehyde. It is a colorless liquid with a piercing, disagreeable, acrid smell. The smell of burnt fat is caused by glycerol in the burning fat breaking down into acrolein. It is produced industrially from propylene and mainly used as a biocide and a building block to other chemical compounds, such as the amino acid methanine. Production Acrolein is prepared industrially by oxidation of propan. The process uses air as the source of oxygen and requires metal oxides as heterogeneous catalysts. CH2 equals CHCH3 plus O2 or CH2 equals CHCHO plus H2O. About 500,000 tons of acrolein are produced in this way annually in North America, Europe, and Japan. Additionally, all acrylic acid is produced via the transient formation of acrolein. The main challenge is in fact the competing over oxidation to this acid. Propane represents a promising but challenging feedstock for the synthesis of acrolein. When glycerol is heated to 280 AA degrees Celsius, it decomposes into acrolein, CH2OH, 2CHOH or CH2 equals CHCHO plus 2 hours 2O. This route is attractive when glycerol is co-generated in the production of biodiesel from fatty acids. The dehydration of glycerol has been demonstrated but has not proven competitive with the route from petrochemicals. Niche or laboratory methods The original industrial route to acrolein, developed by Degussa, involves condensation of formaldehyde and acetaldehyde, HCHO plus CH3CHO or CH2 equals CHCHO plus H2O. Acrolein may also be produced on lab scale by the reaction of potassium bisulfate on glycerol. Reactions Acrolein is a relatively electrophilic compound and a reactive one, hence its high toxicity. It is a good Michael acceptor, hence its useful reaction with THIOLS. It forms acetals readily, a prominent one being the spirocycle derived from pentaerythritol, dialylate and pentaerythritol. Acrolein participates in many D else order reactions, even with itself. Via D else order reactions, it is a precursor to some commercial fragrances, including lyryl, norbonin 2 carboxyldehyde and myracaldehyde. Uses Biocide Acrolein is mainly used as a contact herbicide to control submerged and floating weeds, as well as algae, in irrigation canals. It is used at a level of 10 ppm in irrigation and recirculating waters. In the oil and gas industry, it is used as a biocide in drilling waters, as well as a scavenger for hydrogen sulfide and mercaptans. Chemical precursor, a number of useful compounds are made from acrolein, exploiting its bifunctionality. The amino acid methanine is produced by addition of methanethyl followed by the stricosynthesis. Acrolein condenses with acetaldehyde and are means to give methylpyridines. It is also thought to be an intermediate in the scorp synthesis of quinolins, but is rarely used as such due to its instability. Acrolein will polymerize in the presence of oxygen and in water at concentrations above 22%. The color and texture of the polymer depends on the conditions. Over time, it will polymerize with itself to form a clear, yellow solid. In water, it will form a hard, porous plastic. Acrolein is sometimes used as a fixative in preparation of biological specimens for electron microscopy. Health risks Acrolein is toxic and is a strong irritant for the skin, eyes, and nasal passages. The main metabolic pathway for acrolein is the alkylation of glutathione. The WHO suggests a tolerable oral acrolein intake of 7.5 AI 1 quarter gram day per kilogram of body weight. Although acrolein occurs in French fries, the levels are only a few micrograms per kilogram. In response to occupational exposures to acrolein, the U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration has set a permissible exposure limit at 0.1 ppm at an 8-hour time-weighted average. Cigarette smoke Connections exist between acrolein gas in the smoke from tobacco cigarettes and the risk of lung cancer. In terms of the non-carcinogenic health quotient for components in cigarette smoke, acrolein dominates, contributing 40 times more than the next component, hydrogen cyanide. Chemotherapy metabolite, cyclophosphamide and diphosphamide treatment results in the production of acrolein. 
Acrolein produced during cyclophosphamide treatment collects in the urinary bladder and if untreated can cause hemorrhagic cystitis. Analytical methods. The acrolein test is for the presence of glycerin or fats. A sample is heated with potassium bisulfate, and acrolein is released if the test is positive. When a fat is heated strongly in the presence of a dehydrating agent such as potassium bisulfate, KHSO, 4, the glycerol portion of the molecule is dehydrated to form the unsaturated aldehyde, acrolein, which has the odor peculiar to burned cooking grease. More modern methods exist. In the U.S., EPA method 603 is designed to measure acrolein in industrial and municipal wastewater streams. References